In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite defense for defending the Gun Bunch meta offense in Madden 22. I think you're going to really enjoy this video. I've got an adjustment for you that I think is going to really help you. Um, you're going to basically be able to bag any kind of Gun Bunch bombs. You're going to make them have to work up and down the field consistently. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of times where they're going to miss reads and they're going to make mistakes. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that by subscribing to the channel, you're going to get access to all the content. I upload multiple videos every single day on this channel i also wanted to let you know that in this video we're talking about the nickel 245 odd and i actually have a full ebook out on the nickel 245 odd so if you want to take a look at that i'm going to put a link to the 245 odd defensive ebook in the description of this video and you can get that for just 15 bucks uh, but we're going to take a look here at the gun bunch i'm going to talk about uh, kind of some of the concepts that you can bag with this defense. This comes, like I said, out of the 245 odd. We're in the Chicago Bears playbook, and we're going to be utilizing the cover six. Now, one thing really important is you want to, over here in your substitutional menu, you want to put a middle linebacker at this defensive end position. The reason why is because we can man that guy up, and uh, it allows us to play pretty good pass coverage with that, with that player. Uh, technically, uh, in the game, He's going to be a linebacker, so he's an outside linebacker, middle linebacker. Uh, you could kind of get away with that there. But anyway, we're going to come out of the cover six. Cover six is probably my favorite coverage in the game right now uh, for a number of different reasons. Uh, but what we're going to be able to do from this is we are just simply going to crash our defensive line to the right. Um, and then what I like to do is take this guy right here, Hightower, and I'm actually going to man him up on the tight end. So you see that right here. He's going to man up onto the tight end. And then... The last thing that I'm going to do is drop a uh, the turn that soft squad on the left into a hard flap so that I can stop the running back out route. And what you're going to see here is kind of your traditional flooding combination that most people like to run out of gun bunch. My primary responsibility is to kind of help with the running back early and then be able to move into that number one receiver. So I'm going to open up here, see that he's going to the flat, and okay, I can come over here. As you can see, we get great pressure from this defense. Um, this defense consistently, uh, you will get that three-man rush, will come in very consistently. It's one of my favorite things about the 2-4-5 odd is that you have that little animation or that blitzing angle that is so, so effective. Uh, but you're going to see here the coverage is absolutely incredible. Uh, as you can see right there, the defense does exactly what it needs to do, and my user is able to, to kind of work to that, that deep dig route. Now I want to talk about another combination or another route combo that is very popular um, out of this, and that is the four verts. And typically, it's actually, technically, it's actually five verts because what we're going to do is we're going to streak the uh, we're going to streak the running back. So let me show you that real quick. So again, here's your adjustments. As you can see, I got a hard flat on that left side, uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to stop you know kind of the out routes to the back or the wheels. But you see here are five verticals. And what we're going to simply do is we're going to open up to the running back. We're going to take him, and then we're going to bail back and take that crosser. And as you can see, that play is completely back. So those are probably the top two concepts that most people are going to be running from the gun bunch. And as you see, we're able to pretty much take them very easily. Now, the next com combination that you're going to see uh, consistently, especially when you start going to a matching defensive scheme, is you're going to see this flood concept. So as you can see here, we're going to have a little, little quick out to Godwin. We've got a quick out to Bernard. That's why we like that hard flood on that backside. So again, what you're going to see here is we're just going to crash our line to the right. We're going to man up onto the tight end. I typically like to kind of stand here with my user. If you want to put him on a blitz, you can. It does help against the run. Uh, but what you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball, we're just going to open up to that flat, get back onto this. And as you can see, this is a very, very good coverage defense for the flood concept. Now, I do want to quickly point out something that you're going to talk about. This is what most people will throw this route right here to the R1 receiver. You're going to see right here that we actually didn't defend it perfectly. Uh, but I'm going to show you an adjustment that you can make out of this that will basically bag this concept. All we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to, um, essentially, we're just going to simply shade our coverage. We can shade our coverage down and shade our coverage out, or we could just put that slot corner on a hard flat. I like to go ahead, you could baseline that, or you could just press coverage. Um, but as you can see now, what we're going to get is, you know, it's again, basically the same defense, but if they're running flood a lot, um, this is a really good way to stop this concept. So again, we're just going to open up here, take away that snap throw, and then bail back. And as you can see, I'll show you an instant replay. Um, that is going to completely bag the gun bunch flood concept 
which is again another one of the most popular uh, another one of the most popular flooding combinations as you can see right there just very very effective now guys I just want to let you know that I played Henry I matched up with them in a weekend league game and Henry in my opinion is probably the best player uh, most talented player that I've ever played uh, by far uh, he's just he, he's not he hasn't won all the tournaments uh, but he is very very talented and so I want to talk to you about a combination that he was utilizing out of this bench pivot now it does require hot route master he was actually running this out of the Carolina playbook but it's basically the same concept um, and what it is is he's going to use a slant there and then he's going to have this guy on like a dig a little quick in he actually has a little return route uh, from smash return in the Carolina playbook uh, but you can see here this is kind of what he was doing now the reason I want to bring this up and I actually broke this down I broke a full um, an entire film study down in our patreon on young Henry I, I just really like studying his game I think he's one of the best players that we've ever seen uh, but what you're going to see right here is this bench pivot combination this is one of the reasons why cover six is so good all I have to do is when I open here once I pass off that running back and then I notice that Evans is done on a dig now I'm looking for any crossers that are coming from right to left so in this example um, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be primarily responsible uh, for this little quick uh, slant right here so again I'm opening here then I come back into this area and as you can see this is a great concept but it's completely bagged by this defense and that deep post that beats so many coverages is not going to be able to beat the cover six it's one of the things that makes the cover six so special so let me jump into instant replay and kind of break this combination down so we've got this manned up to the tight end so that's going to be kind of a tough throw you do have a quarter zone there that will help kind of go out with him this backside guy because he motions him out he's going to take him in man to man across the formation you also have that uh this guy right here that's our three red cook notice that he's gonna leave the slant the quarter flat goes with the slant uh, and then you're kind of sitting right in this area and kind of helping over the middle of the field but literally everything on this combination is completely bagged um, now if I were to go to any other coverage in this defense uh, and I'm just gonna kind of illustrate this by going to a standard cover three because this is kind of what Henry likes to use it for uh, what you're gonna notice is this same combination um, is not going to be is not going to be as good, right? The corner route is going to be open to the tight end. I'm going to have these little underneath routes to check down to, um, and then I might even have my post route over the top. So that's one of the many things that make this so so effective. Uh, I want to show you one other bunch bomb that uh, I've talked about before in the past. It's one of the best bunch. Um, it's one of the best coverage beaters, uh, in my opinion, in the entire gun bunch offense for for match. And um, you can actually do it out of several different playbooks. I'm not sure if I even have it in here. I think it, it's the dig return play. And I don't know if I do have it. I might not in yet. Oh, here we go. Dig return. Yeah. So dig return. And I'm going to come out and cover six. Now, the first thing is I just want to show it to you kind of the problem. And then we'll talk about the solution. So all we're going to do is just streak Godwin and snap the ball. And what you should see is R1 will be wide open over the top. And as you can see, I could run that in for a one play touchdown, if not just a big gain. With the adjustments that I just taught you out of the cover six uh, by manning this guy up on the tight end, uh, for the most part, this should do okay against that. If it doesn't, I do have something to share with you that will help. Uh, but what you'll see now um, is, and I guess it doesn't cover that, that, that is still open. But what we can do, because we have, because we're still um, in a good position defensively, from our match perspective, all we have to do uh, to take that away is we're just going to put that that um, safety on the bunch side into a deep half. So you see here, those are some really good adjustments for bunch. Now that same route combination that just beat me, as long as I pass commit here, what you should see is that deep half in the middle of the field is going to run with him stride for stride, and he's going to take that route away. So that is kind of how you can kind of leverage that now the beauty of this is let's say for example that you see something like this dig return play um more typically you're going to get a combination that essentially looks like that i would i would bet you money they're not going to streak him every play especially if you stop at one time but if they are going to streak him again you're opening up to this side right you're opening up to the bunch side so if there's no crossers so let's say for example that you have it like this right here 
and there's no crossing route, all you have to do is just come over here and just take this away. And as you can see, everything's bagged. It's very, very effective defense. So that is something that I just wanted you to kind of be able to put in your bag of tricks. Now, this is just kind of a little bit of an introduction to the cover six. If you want to learn more about the cover six, I would really encourage you um, and just want to get better at Madden, join our Patreon membership. By joining my Patreon membership, you're going to get immediate access to every single ebook that I've released so far this season. And we're releasing our 12th ebook this weekend. So if you haven't already uh, joined the Patreon membership, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Again, as soon as you sign up, you get immediate access to not only our 245 odd ebook but you're going to get access to everything you get access to that one hour and 15 minute video i did on studying henry's uh film and you can you can learn a lot from just that one hour and a half uh video so we have so much content over there so again if you want to sign up for the patreon and get access to everything it's just 10 bucks a month and uh, you can cancel whenever you want to, uh, but whenever you sign up, you get instant access to everything. And as long as your subscription is active, you're going to get access to all of our updates. Uh, we post a couple different videos in there every week. And then we also have our ebooks that we're releasing. We normally release a guide every every uh, two weeks at the, at the latest. And so I've got a bunch that I'm working on right now. And I've done a lot of uh, tutorials on cover six and the match concepts and stuff like that. So if you want to learn all that, again, I'm going to put a link to that Patreon membership in the description of this video. And you can sign up right now for just 10 bucks. So head on down to the description and be sure to check out that Patreon link.